Hi, I'm here at Lenaro Connect in Hong Kong, and I'm with Matt Locke. And Matt, you're with TI. Can you tell folks a little bit about what you do at TI? Sure. I'm Matthew Locke, and I'm the director of the Linux Development Center for TI. Um, my group is within the OMAP uh, business unit, so we have the ARM-based SOCs that have a DSP plus a bunch of IP where we enable Linux for that uh, SOC and, and push it into the platform with working with Lenara. I know at the last Connect when we were in Redwood City, there were some goals and some, some uh, milestones that you were looking toward um, from the landing team side and, and from working with us. Were those goals met and can you talk a little bit about what those goals were? Sure, so since really what we're trying to do is get the support for the OMAP platform upstream, it's a continuing process and every Connect and every few months we look at what needs to get done and chop it up in little bits of work and, and get it there and we made some pretty good progress since the last Connect. And, and it, are you having a lot of a lot more goals and milestones coming out of this one? Is it more than what came out of Q1? Are you are you ramping up, looking at level, looking at third quarter, fourth quarter, and and beyond? Well, there's uh, kind of two parts to it. There's the enabling the basic platform drivers and um, making sure the thing boots and the basics, and then there's also a technology aspect. So interesting technology in. Uh, the kernel that's coming up, uh, areas of power management, uh, there's a lot of scheduler talk, enhancements to the scheduler going on here at Lenaro that we're going to be a part of. And 10 so hour battery life? 10 hour battery <laughs> life is a dream for everyone that we hope to support and get there. <laughs> so as a part of those technologies, uh, that's really what this Connect is more about, is looking at uh, above just enabling the hardware, but how can we make Linux do, do things even better in areas like power management and getting toward that battery life. Yeah, exactly. So one of the things that I often hear when I'm out at community events and people are looking across our member boards and the wide swath that we have from, you know, all of our members, TI included, um, is the fact that TI sort of sets the stage for the open specs. You guys you know, have laid those, those open specs out there for the ARM boards. What about that excites you personally to be involved with, with the, that side of TI? It was one of the things that drew me to TI before I was an employee there, and I think uh, it's one of the uh, most critical aspects of our, our work in the community is to have um, not just the software open, but that people can see how the chip is placed on the board and how you connect all the I.O. All those specs are open so that people can really innovate with our, with our processor. And then as, you, as the community uh, starts working with it and developing new technology and applications, they can really understand how the system's put together from top to bottom. And so it's really uh, one of the key things for us to be successful in, in getting community people working on our platform. And I know that that our focus here is a lot on, on the developer community, the, the, the getting the, the OEMs and SOCs and just everybody to market faster, to, to help enable that, that quicker. But looking long-term um, community, being able to go in and, and pull a, a board off the shelf, the, you know, a computer or a tablet, whatever it happens to be off the shelf, and take it home and go to Best Buy, whenever that dream happens, and, yeah. and you can do that. And I know that more and more community, like sometimes hobbyists, but still professional developers, want to be able to take these boards and do marvelous things with them. And, and by having those open specs, uh, you all allow people to, to do that a little easier. It can be done with all of our member boards, but you allow um, STI, USTI, uh, allow that to happen quicker. And so what's some of the things that you've seen um, that you can think of off the top of your head? Because I'm kind of hitting with you this yeah, person kind of surprised. No problem. One of those interesting things that you saw, wow, I didn't know somebody was using our boards that way. Do you have a story like that? One of my personal interests is robotics. It's just a very cool area to, to do uh, software development and build projects. And it's one of the most popular hobbyist, hobbyist uh, areas for people to, to make uh, little robots to, to do anything. And uh, we have a lot of people using the Panda board for their projects. And it's anything from a simple uh, Panda board with some wheels and motor control and it's driving around and, and navigating itself, to we have people that uh, started prototyping um, uh, advanced helicopter uh, robotic platforms to be able to uh, have some, you know, the, the, the uh, uh, rotor uh, four rotor controls of uh, a helicopter and, and turn that into an advanced robotics development platform. 
Wow. And so are we going to see like pandas showing up on like robot wars or anything like that? Uh, that'd be very cool. Wouldn't maybe it? someday we'll see that. Maybe, maybe T.I. can sponsor a team yeah, to maybe, do that. Yeah, maybe I'll be that team. <laughs> that, that way. It's, so one of the things that like you mentioned was power mm -hmm. management and, and the kernel and, and some of those types of things. And one of the things that we work for here um, at Lenaro as, as a unit is that um, consolidated kernel, that, that organizing that space. So it's not so specific kernel to specific boards, so, you know, and, and you're maintaining several different versions across several revs and several right. member boards. How do you see um, TI's role in, in, in that process? Well, it's one of the most critical aspects of Lenaro is to reduce the amount of time and effort it takes to get us uh, new, new versions of the kernel on new versions of our hardware. And the more we can consolidate and leverage uh, common frameworks and common APIs, the less we'll have to duplicate and do ourselves. And so this is really one of the key areas I view as for Lenaro, and one of the things we contribute to in, in the working groups is to, to get to there. And maybe you're not comfortable with this next question, because um, I just thought of it as you were speaking, but mm -hmm. do you have a, when we look across the x86 platform and how, you know, you can take the same kernel across every x86 machine that, that's out there, pretty much, um, there are a few exceptions here and there, but for the most part you take one kernel, build on top of it, boom, there you go. I know that didn't happen overnight either. Do you have a prediction on like maybe when we'll see that with the future of ARM? I have probably a little bit different opinion of that. Mm -hmm. the, the reason that's necessary, especially in x86, is because you want one common distribution running on your platform and it's targeted at... Um, end users. End or, users. Or not, enterprise level servers. Yes, exactly. And that, what we're doing is delivering to people that are building products that are going to always customize the software stack. So the need for one kernel to boot across is not really that high. Um, it's more that we want uh, to reduce the amount of work they have to do to put it on their custom board and be able to focus on their value add. Um, but there's always going to be something that's different and a need to have custom kernels. Otherwise we wouldn't have competition, healthy competition out there, would we? Exactly. You know, we exactly. want to encourage that. <laughs> now, is there anything else that you'd like to tell people who are going to watch this between now and our next Connect? Um, that they should be watching for? Anything you want your like the Panda communities to get involved with? Um, any developers, how can they get involved with what you're doing and, 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 and be part of what we're doing at the same time? I, I think uh, buying a Panda board is the great way to get involved. Get it, get the software, download the Lenaro builds and start playing with it. I think that's the best thing you do. And then come to the next Connect. Well, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule here at Connect to speak with me and speak to our viewers on what TI is doing and what we're looking forward to going in the future with TI and Lenaro. Thank you.